Chimera Squad is a brand new turn-based tactics game in the acclaimed XCOM series. In XCOM 2, players led the resistance against the alien rulers of Earth and their puppet government. Five years later, Earth is liberated and humans and aliens must forge an uneasy peace. Welcome to City 31, where former combatants live side by side with unity hanging in the balance. This game follows Chimera Squad, an elite team of human and alien agents chosen for their abilities and dedication. Sent to help secure City 31, Chimera Squad's success will keep the city safe, but their failure will mean renewed violence. At the heart of the game are Chimera Squad's tactical operations, where the agents respond to combat in the city. Each of these battles are divided into encounters. Breach Mode is a key new feature to combat. This phase begins each encounter and allows you to choose Chimera Squad's entry points and agent turn order. Burst in, get the drop on enemies, and unleash devastating special abilities. The tactical choices you make during a breach can set the tone for the entire encounter. Will you head to cover or engage with targets? Will agents operate solo or work together? Do you concentrate fire on the most threatening enemy or do you try to take down multiple weaker targets first? Either way, don't expect to clear an entire room during the breach phase. Some encounters have multiple breach points to choose from, each with distinct advantages and disadvantages. Some breach points are only accessible by specific agent abilities or equipment. All units' turns are interleaved, which means that Chimera Squad agents and enemies alternate turns in a single timeline. Turn order is an important aspect of your tactical plan. Knowing which enemy and agent will act next will be crucial in dealing with threats. This timeline presents new opportunities. Some agents and enemies can change units' places in the timeline. Chimera Squad has an ability called Team Up. Once permission, you can choose a member of your squad to jump right to the top of the turn order. This can allow you to get an agent to safety or to get the drop on an enemy. Agents who take a beating and lose all their hit points start bleeding out. Another agent must then stabilize their ally. Stabilized agents remain unconscious for the rest of the battle. If an agent bleeds out entirely, the mission fails and must be restarted. Keeping your agents healthy and in the field is critical as agent abilities synergize with each other in different ways. Each agent has a unique set of skills that they can bring to the team. Some agents can destroy an enemy's cover to give the rest of the squad a better chance to hit. Other agents can forcibly move units, triggering an ally's overwatch or pulling an ally to safety. Some agents can even shield a teammate. Equipment can provide additional abilities to any agent. The unique and varied skills of Chimera Squad will provide endless opportunities for tacticians. Every mission begins and ends at HQ, your hub for all operations. New missions and their potential rewards can be viewed in the city map. Chimera Squad can embark on some missions immediately. Investigations can speed progress towards critical missions. Some missions may not have the most tantalizing rewards, but need to be prioritized for other reasons, like lowering the level of unrest each district in the city has its own unrest score. If any district score maxes out, the unrest of the entire city will rise. If overall city unrest reaches a critical level, Chimera Squad will fail their campaign and the model city of unification will be consumed in chaos and violence. Promote any agents who ranked up during their last encounter in the armory. Promotions give agents new abilities to use in the field. You can also adjust their equipment here. Stock up on your equipment at Supply and the Scavenger's Market. Supply is always open for business, but lacks some of the more exotic goods the Scavenger's Market is known to offer. However, the Scavenger's Market only opens occasionally and may not always be around when you need it. 
At the assembly, you can create items and upgrades for sale at the store. You'll need to research patterns before you can build them. If you want to avoid being down an agent mid-mission, you can build androids to fill in for unconscious allies. You can upgrade these androids and change their equipment, but they don't have special abilities. If an agent is critically wounded, they may develop a scar, which will lower a key stat. Assigning an agent to training will repair the scar, if you can afford to have the agent out of commission for a few days. Training can give an uninjured agent improved stats or even new abilities. Spec Ops can be used to send a single agent out to gain resources or for other strategic goals, like lowering the level of unrest in various districts of City 31. Chimera Squad must prevent anarchy at all costs. City 31 is the first step toward a unified future. A lot is riding on the shoulders of Chimera Squad. A lot is riding on you.